on Peyton, on T. Good, good, good. Other side, my name is Antonio Davis. We're actually here in Kingsland, Ohio. I'm here with my daughter and her uh, basketball team, and we're at Nationals right now. I tried to sit back and watch. You know, uh, my daughter was playing on a couple different teams before. I think my philosophy was just different than a lot of coaches. I just jumped in with both feet, and it's just been great ever since. Sometimes there's those moments where it's just kind of like, man, it's my dad. But, you know, other times, it's, you know, he's fun. He's not, you know, any different than a regular coach. So, yeah, it's fun. Since I've been doing it for a couple of years, we're now really establishing a bond between a coach and a player. I think at the, in the beginning, it was actually difficult because I didn't want to interfere with the relationship we had from, from, from dad to daughter. So I was always careful only to push it so far. But I think now she understands that I have something that I can give her that'll actually help her out. So it's actually great. Coach Antonio, uh, he played with my dad actually in Toronto. My dad is D Brown. He played in the NBA for like 12 years. He was a very good guard. And since I'll be a guard, it's like easier because he can tell me like everything that he knows. And then, I mean, it'd be different if I didn't really like basketball, but I love basketball. So there's not really that much pressure. It's nice. Uh, he always, uh, when I have questions about what to do, he always knows what to tell me. And I mean, sometimes it's hard because some people tell me that I'm, I'm only good because of my dad, but I don't think that's true. I mean, yes, he's helped, but it's all me too, so. My dad is Ken Griffey Jr. He used to play basketball in high school, so he helps me with like my shooting. And when he's home, he'll watch my tapes and tell me what I'm doing wrong. And if he's not here, I'll call him and tell him what I, what I did and if I need to improve on it. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's go. Um, I'm Diamond the Shields. Um, my dad's the line of the Shields. He actually played basketball in high school. And he had a scholarship to Villanova. Basketball is his real passion. He'd always talk to me about it. We'd always go up in the backyard and shoot around and stuff. Finish! He just tries to like talk to me like about keeping my head focused. Antonio Davis, he's really took me under his wing this year. Come on, two more. It's my first year playing with them and he's really like he's been like a father figure to me this year. His whole family, they're like they're like my second family. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. It's it's tough for me, you know, because I know their dads and I had conversations with their dads before they came to the team so that I knew how to handle them. Um, and most of the dads are just like I am. Make sure you get on my daughter. Make sure that she's constantly listening to you. Make sure she's giving her all and stuff like that. It's very constructive. I mean, when you have two guys mentoring you that have been there, been to the highest level that you could possibly be, it's so nice to have them because you usually know what they're saying is correct because they've used it and been successful with it. I'm at the point now where I'm just like, whatever I grow up to be, that's what I'm going to be. You know, I don't really feel any pressure to be a certain person to, you know, be as good as anybody. You know, it's just who I'm going to be. The biggest thing is just the life skills. It's not whether they make a mistake. It's their reaction after they make that mistake. Get up, get it back. Come on, Kylie, stop being lazy. Do they continue to fight through when they're down, when things aren't going well, when they really don't feel like it? Do they come back with that same effort? Do they listen? Do they look you in your eye and acknowledge that they understand what you're talking about? All those different life skill things I think are very important for them as they get older. So basketball we just use as a vehicle to try to teach. That's it, and that's how we approach it. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.